Wait. Here we are getting some crystal violet for our introductory activity. Um, this is our stock solution, so it's just going to be. I am. Yeah. Do you think this is full enough? You guys are distracting. Yeah. It looks blue, but it's violet and it's really pretty. This is Erica. She's the new star of our videos. Wait, where are the caps? Okay, guys, so in this graph, in this where are yep. you going to pick? They give you a doing. Right now, I'm putting deionized water in the cuvette for the blank for the spectrophotometer. So that way, it can be like, um, it's almost like zero, same thing as zeroing a scale. Same idea there. Wow, can you tell us what we're doing in our lab? Um, not right now, because Jacob is going to make me move. Okay. Alright, so what we're doing here is we're making our um, solution. So we're going to put nine, eight, seven, six, five milliliters of deionized water. That's probably good, Erica. A little bit more. It's only two, three fourths. Um, and then we're going to add solutions that are the purple stuff. Yes. Crystal violet um, solution to it. Yep. And to get the specific molarity we calculated in our introductory active or pre lab. Um, pre lab. And then we're going to get the absorbance of it in our spectrophotometer by placing it in here, which is what Erica is doing at the moment. All right. I think that's it. Okay. And we're using our blank. And yay, 100% transmittance. And we are at 540, is it? Yes. Erica? Awesome. And we're at 540 nanometers of wavelength. Now, what are you doing, Kalina? Now I'm adding the crystal violet to each of the solutions. And what is the total milliliterage of it? The total is 10 okay. milliliters for each solution. You're going to increase in concentration? Yes. Okay, so that was our blank. These tiny little cuvettes hold a ton of solution. It is kind of surprising. Here's Kalina filling a tiny little cuvette. Thank you. Here, if you want to get the whole putting this in here. Yeah, you have to get that cuvette. That's more important. Wipe it off tiny first. There you go. We have then, to get the oils off so it, that it reads it well. And you put this in here. It doesn't really fit, but fits. And then you push, put it in here. Close it. And read your transmittance. There's our transmittance for 2.5s uh, micromolar, I believe. It's for B. It's the first one. Or it's for A. It's not for B. All right. Yep. And that is our transmittance. That's okay. Okay. Wiping the blank. Yes. And then Start to remove oils, otherwise there could be irregularities in our transmitted. And now this is, yep. This is the blank, we're putting it in. And we're making sure, we're going to press the little button so that it zeroes out. It's blanking. There we go. Perfect. Then we remove it. And this, and Erica is putting in our 12.5 micromolar concentration of our After crystal violet. And here Again. she is using proper lab technique and um, wiping stuff. Again. <laughs> place this in here. And record the measurement. Yep. The transmit as 21.8%. Score. B or 7. Okay. What's up? Okay, let's go. Yeah. Okay, cool. You're seven. Kalina Kalina. And this is Nicole and Stephanie on the struggle bus. <laughs> They're on the struggle bus today. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to combine the sodium hydroxide and the crystal yeah. violet solutions and then they're going to start reacting and once they start we're going to pour them in a cuvette and then put it in the spectrophotometer and so after that we're going to record the absorbance for every 20 seconds for 15 minutes and that way we can get enough data to um, to do what Rana? <laughs> Make a graph about things and then we're going to do part two. Ask him Rana. Yeah. I'm just tired. That's all I do. Okay here we go. Nicole's blanking. Making sure that I don't get any Ooh, oil on my hands. Where's the thing? The adapter. And we need the adapter. Did you wipe off the I did wipe off the <laughs> with the paper. With the paper. I did. I did two seconds ago. <laughs> okay.
trust me. This is what happens when you work in a group with me. That's the wrong way. What's that? It is. So do we just have to have a lot of Still the wrong way. It has to the flat side. Here, David. Sorry, Nicole. Go. Three. Swirl. Give a swirl. Okay, go. <laughs> got ten seconds. Get some more. Oh Two, my god. Ten seconds. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Alright. Get in the thing. That's good. That's good. on properly is great lab procedure. Right, Look at this form. Here we go, blanking the machine. It works, it's just, it's just the same. All right, there we go. I don't know what that noise is. <laughs> Put your goggles Watch on. Watch it blank. <laughs> Boy. We need to make sure we have our goggles on. <laughs> All right, so the blank is good. Are you ready? We need We're a cadet ready. ready to put the new solution. <laughs> no, wait, that one's bad. I have one minute. Let's go. All right, are you ready? <laughs> Maybe. All right, so I'm gonna pour these together. This is. I'll talk about it after I pour it in. Okay. Wait, we needed the timer. Timer. Emron. <laughs> Emron. Sure. Sure. Sweet. Great. Use this one. This is so stressful. I have the lid. <laughs> Be sure to wipe. You have 10 seconds. Oh. <laughs> oh <my God>. Okay. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> 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 What time are we at, Stephanie? One, L2 and L2 Ten seconds. Was, All right, we're running yeah. behind. Okay. Let's try it. Okay. 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 Area, and then we're going to calculate for the um, k for the constant. Now that we're going to be able to find the um, <laughs> the rate of sodium hydroxide in the reaction.